Let's start assembling the motors, which are also based on the legs of your printer. And let's start by the easy part, uh, by assembling the legs. Uh, and for that you will need uh, four rubber legs, printed base plates, four BHCS M5 uh, 10 millimeter, I presume. Yes, 10 millimeter screws and M5 washer uh, nuts. I will apply a bit of uh, tread locking compound because uh, when assembled, this nut, which just should be placed here, will be lying flush against the module, the motor model, and um, in some circumstances, it can unscrew itself due to the vibration and this nut here uh, will fall down and start messing with the pulling. Put the nut inside, take the screw, as I said apply a little bit of, uh, of uh, tread locking compound, you can skip the step but I'm doing it for my own safety. and screw it firmly. Next part would be assembling the motor mounts and for that you will need four printed motor mounts, four motors and uh, 12 M3 8mm screws. And this is as simple as just putting the motor mount on top and screwing it on with uh, uh, one detail that your wires should come uh, on the side which is adjacent to this side of the motor with two holes. So basically you try to orient your motors either like this for uh, right parts or like this for the left parts. So two holes and here comes the wires. When you're done with the motor mounts you should install the pulleys on the shaft of your motors. These are 16T pulleys. GT, GT, GT2 and uh, the manual requires to apply some tread locking compound while installing them. Also the manual says that you should install them this way. So basically the locking part should be on top of the shaft. I usually start by installing the grub screw that goes against the reach of the motor shaft and then adding the other grub screws that uses to stabilize this. Now let's prepare the plastic frames and uh, to do so you will need a lot of M3 uh, inserts and a soldering iron to install them. I use my standard soldering iron from a soldering station and I put it around 250-260 degrees uh, just not to overheat my ABS. There are two parts of the frame one is smaller, one is bigger, and you will need to install six threaded uh, inserts into the smaller frame and then add three more on top of the assembly. The main rule of threaded inserts is that you don't rush and don't push them too hard, so you just wait until they start sinking into the molten plastic. Now comes the tricky part, which is frame assembly and I uh, find it easier to assemble it using one of the frames and stacking them like this so your pulley rotates freely. As a base you will need this uh, 5 mm 60 mm rod and uh, 6 to 5 bearings. Uh, let's start with adding one in the middle. And then adding two spacers, one millimeter M5 spacers on each side of the bearing, like this. Then you should add a GT20 to 9 millimeter pulley on one side with a two side side uh, closer to the bearing and the bigger side uh, facing opposite direction so the two side side is uh, farther from the bearing. Now you can add two more bearings on the sides. And now you should be able to put it into the frame to align it properly. So 
So basically, you don't want your uh, rod sticking out very much. You want that both of your pulleys uh, are able to rotate freely at this point, of course, before you actually tighten them. And you want your pulleys to be pressed together against this uh, middle bearing. When you have done all that, you should start fixing your pulleys. And, of course, don't forget to apply some tread locking on top. So, I will start by fixing the smaller pulley. And then continue with the big one, also with some treadlock compound. When you're done, make sure that both pulleys rotate freely. As you see, I've used the smaller part of the frame as a base, because the pulley protrudes a bit from the bigger part, and if I just lay it flat on the table, it will pop out. Now repeat it for the other three pulleys. Now is a perfect time to check if everything uh, is assembled correctly and slides freely because disassembling the model afterwards would be a huge headache. Uh, and when you're satisfied with the results, you can go on with uh, actual assembly of the frame. You will need M3 uh, 40mm screws and GT belts. The looped belts, the only loop belts. Uh, used in boring construction should go over the pulley and through the hole in the smaller part. Now when you're done with the belts you can just put all the six screws and tighten them in. When you're done with the frame assembly and everything works and have locked your pulleys you are okay to install the legs and this is done by just screwing them on top um, on the bottom sorry of the frame with three M3 8mm screws. So at this point you should have five fully assembled and by the way freestanding the frames and four fully assembled motors uh, which you should fit to your printer frame and this process I will cover in my next video.